Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the Food Scoop. <laughs> if you tuned in last week, we did the f- top five cold subs, uh, Jersey Mike's. If you haven't checked that one out, go check it out. That was a great one. And today we are doing the top five hot subs. Yeah, it's, it's nice and cold out where we are, so it's like the perfect time to get a nice hot sub. So hopefully you guys try out one of these that we lay out for you. I guarantee you. They're all great, but you might find the special one for you. So I'll kick things off with my number five. It will be the number 26, the chicken ba- uh, chicken bacon ranch nice. cheesesteak. Yeah. Yeah. It definitely has the nicest ring to it. Everyone loves bacon. It's a good mesh with ranch. Of course, throw some chicken in there, but we also add the lettuce and tomatoes. And man, that one is definitely one of the top chicken cheesesteaks that we have in our stores. You know, I, I could... Easily say it might be the most popular chicken cheesesteak we got. It is. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Uh, honestly, I, I think I'm going to have to agree with you on that one yeah. for the number five spot. Uh, chicken Bacon Ranch is my second favorite chicken sandwich on our menu, yeah. I would say. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm much, but you're going to see our list and it's probably going to have a lot of steak on there. But at the very least, if you want to try uh, one of the chicken cheesesteaks that you haven't had before, that's a very safe and a good one to start with the name has it all so go yeah. go try it <laughs> no, honestly that one you don't really need to add much to it it's great just the way it comes yeah. um if you want to get avocado on it go for it why not if you like it a little spicy add some jalapenos to it mm-hmm. you want to get it to some go. crunch throw some green bell peppers in there yeah you definitely mm-hmm. modify it the way that works for you can't go wrong all right uh so number four actually is going to be another chicken uh sandwich for me and that's gonna be the number 44 hey i got it right (laughs) damn we got two for two uh buffalo chicken cheesesteak so very similar i guess in in a sense to the 26 you got the chicken the buffalo sauce the white american cheese what am i oh blue cheese lettuce and tomato (laughs) Uh, no blue cheese for me man no no oh it grew on me man really yeah from having that or just blue cheese elsewhere no um i had blue cheese other places and Mm -hmm. i was like all right let me give it another shot because i would always get it with ranch too yeah uh but then i started having it with blue cheese and then another thing i started doing is adding uh bacon to it because what i had was (laughs) a blue cheese bacon combination like burger somewhere yeah and it was so good that combination the blue cheese and the bacon so i added to the buffalo cheesesteak now nice and that bacon blue cheese with the buffalo everything goes in so good together i gotta gotta acquire the taste a little bit more i don't know blue cheese is a tough one for me to get past and i know a lot of people who order that chicken cheese steak will kind of request hey i'll do ranch instead of yeah, blue it's cheese 50 50 for us i would say yeah uh yeah it's 50 50 <laughs> <laughs> i usually say on the west coast a again. lot of people no, love give it the another ranch. shot try it because um i don't know i think it is something you kind of got to get past and try it yeah and, and it's good it's it's actually really good. I like it. All right, I'll take your word for Especially it. Especially since we up updated our blue cheese sauce. You know, from back in the day, mm-hmm. we have different blue cheese now. It's yeah. so much better. Our ranch is so much better. You know, all of our sauces got a little upgrade, in my opinion. Yeah. And that was one of them. That once we got the new one, I started trying it. I was like, oh damn, it's pretty good actually. Yeah. It's a pain in the ass putting it on a sub at times, though. The we we've upgraded our squeeze bottles now, so the um, <laughs> actual cheese could squirt out. With we it, don't put it in the squeeze bottle. You put it in a little bit. No, we leave. Leave it in the thing. The, oh, uh, yeah. The big bottle, that's the only one. We just yeah. leave it in that. Everything else has their own little squeeze bottles, but that one is so easy to pour. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. That is actually And plus, easy. you can, like, see the difference between that and ranch because, you know, that's the <laughs> big one. <laughs> half oh, the time, man, don't start. Yeah. <laughs> there have been many times where I've accidentally put ranch instead of blue cheese, or what's worse is blue cheese instead of ranch for customers. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, definitely. <laughs> it's a good distinction, uh, a way for, you know, employees to see okay that's blue cheese is big you can't miss yeah. it you know and the ranch is in the other one yeah um that is not my top four but it, it could have made it actually but uh on my number four on my list simple number 17 jersey mike's famous philly what do you mean i thought you said you had the four no four. i was just raising my hands up like oh, oh I, was gonna say the number <laughs> I thought we were two uh, for two <laughs> no nah, not at all man they, look with ranch yeah just the blue cheese not a fan of all and that, right that's all why right. i haven't had that sub as much as i've wanted to um but for me simple though the, the the sub that got me into it and made me fall in love with cheesesteaks the jersey mike's famous philly onions peppers steak and cheese the only thing that i modify is the regular sweet peppers i take those out 
throw green bell peppers in there to give it a little more crunch. Still, till this day, is one of our go-tos for a lot of our customers. It is the famous Philly. I don't call it that for no reason. Yeah. Um, it's really good. Yeah. You know, for our steak, for the longest time, you know, we get in the comments. You guys are using steakums, this, that. It's, I don't even know what quality. the hell steakums <laughs> were. <laughs> yeah, we have to look it up. But it's actually a, a cut of a ribeye. Yeah, a thin slice of ribeye. Yeah, so the quality of the meat's really good. They actually upped the, the thickness of it. So yeah. I think it used to be five ounces of meat. Now it's six ounces. So you're mm -hmm. getting more meat in there. Mm -hmm. uh, and if they make that thing right, it's juicy. It's delicious. Yeah. It's and so good. I think you hit it right on. Look. Every cheesesteak on our menu is good. And people across that come through our stores each have their own that they love. But it's just got to be made right. Mm -hmm. You know, that thing, the moment the meat gets on the grill, really within like a minute, minute and like 10 seconds, that thing is cooked. Mm -hmm. If it's left on there longer than it should mm -hmm. and... Look, it's still going to be a good cheesesteak, but it's not going to be as juicy, not yeah, gonna have as much be. flavor, you know, so... Um, yeah, just got to get it made right. And if people do that, then seriously, I think we got some of the best cheesesteaks out there. For sure. No, a lot of people that try our cheesesteaks are from the East Coast or whatever. And they mm -hmm. come, they're like, man, this is the closest thing I've gotten yeah. to an East Coast cheesesteak, you know? And I mean... That's what you want to hear. Yeah, yeah, it is. I mean, Jersey Mike's is an East Coast franchise, so it better be, yeah. you, you know. <laughs> the, the only difference is, I think for us, is the American cheese. Uh, nowhere really puts American cheese on their cheesesteaks. Yeah, provolone mostly. I think it's provolone mostly. Uh, um, cheese whiz yeah the philly you know they're big on the cheese whiz and yeah. stuff like that but the american cheese is actually pretty good I yeah like, i like it a lot i love it it's a little thicker than the other cheeses mm -hmm. we got so you can actually taste the cheese a lot more with that with the cheesesteaks when it's american so yeah nice um all right uh we're on number three now right yeah the big kahuna cheesesteak number right. 56 <laughs> and it took me a while till i fell in love with this one um only because i never ate mushrooms i still don't really eat it really? too often but i get a little bit in there that i could tolerate uh it's a texture thing yeah i'm working on it <laughs> uh but then the jalapenos i never used to love spicy and then slowly when i was making my cheese steaks i'm like all right let me put like one jalapeno I'll just chop it up mix it up and then i'm like all right it's not bad and then nowadays it's like man i could handle spice nice and easy and it's so good and it comes with extra cheese so no you can't complain about that Everyone yeah loves definitely cheese. the big kuna is where i got started as well yeah <laughs> as far as the cheese steaks were, i was like man and, and if that's made correctly once again yeah it's a hell of a cheese steak that extra cheese actually makes a huge difference it's only one extra slice of cheese yeah. but man does that it becomes Tastes so cheesy che yeah. yeah it becomes so cheesy um but nice uh so that was your number three right yep all right for me number three i actually want to well, it's kind of both because they're very similar to me. The new ones we got, the portobellas, mm -hmm. the portobello steak and the portobello chicken. Mm -hmm. Man, the portobello mushrooms are a good addition to a cheesesteak. Yeah. It's so good. It changes the flavor. We have the regular mushrooms and they're all right. They're good. But something about the portobellas give the cheesesteak this flavor. And, you know, we don't chop them up so they stay chunky in there. It's like a so, burst. Yeah. So the, so the texture of it in general is so good. Uh, I would say I prefer the steak version a little bit more than the chicken, but mm -hmm. I alternate. I go back and forth. Yeah. Uh, chicken, I love it, but more often than not in like the tub, like as a bowl, like a mm. salad to eat. Steak, I can't pass it up. I'll always eat it with bread. But <laughs> you're right. I'm working on my mushroom game right now, trying to get <laughs> acquire the taste for it a little bit more. But just like the jalapenos, throwing a little bit, adding it in there, and then going ahead and eating it up. But the portobellas have been um, a game changer for us overall as Jersey Mike's. You know, it's mm -hmm. some small addition that they made, but has kind of opened up a gateway of trying sandwiches in a different way you know so it's yeah really i've nice. had people start adding it to the italian you know the cold subs because it's an option you can add it to any sandwich now yeah just and a little extra charge yeah, but yeah if you love mushrooms you'll definitely love the portobello yeah and i guess we could we could mention the portobello swiss right yeah which is the veggie version yeah of it which isn't bad mm -hmm. it, it's but in my opinion it, it is a little bland mm -hmm. it, it needs a little bit of sauce or something like a kicker yeah uh, you know when it's i missing something yeah if 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 I have it, it's good. It has its own distinct flavor if you don't add anything to it. But I don't know. For me, I just need more flavor in my sandwiches. Yeah. So either I'll add some chipotle mayo on there mm -hmm. and just some more veggies in general. Yeah. If you're going for a veggie sub, might as well get some lettuce, tomato. I don't know. Maybe throw some jalapenos, banana peppers in there. You know, just 
make that a little take the flavor profile a little higher you know yeah it is missing some goodies in there uh, but aside from that i mean it's nice to have another hot sub option for all the vegetarians out there because yeah. for a while we didn't really have anything on the mm-hmm. menu for them we back in the days we had the grilled veggie wrap when we used to serve wraps on our menu but ever since they took those wraps away it's kind of just been steak or chicken on the grill unless a vegetarian kind of came in there and said hey do you mind grilling up those veggies for me but now again it's nice to see you got that option Mm -hmm. we're doing on average about three to five of those a day it's still Mm -hmm. not fully out there yet but enough where some of those vegetarians can enjoy it no for sure uh are we down to number two now right yeah kick it off all right for me the number two is gonna be the chipotle cheesesteak hey we're on the same <laughs> we're on the same page with that one yeah that's this sandwich i mean so just to begin with it's the same thing as our famous philly right onions mm-hmm. peppers the steak the, the cheese the only difference is that chipotle sauce yeah and man hell of a difference that chipotle sauce makes <laughs> yeah it's crazy um not only on that but on every sandwich if you if you love mayo you love chipotle with a little bit of spice in there then it's it's so good with everything we have but it's anyone who orders a 17 I always ask them, have you tried mm-hmm. the Chipotle sauce before? No, never even heard. Of it. I'm going to get you a side. Just trust yeah. me, try it. And here, I don't, I don't even ask them. I just get the side yeah, and give it to them. Like, you got to try this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously, that's the. I think anybody that works at Jersey Mike's can, can tell you that that sauce can go on almost anything that mm-hmm. you want and it'll just add more and more flavor to it. I'm um, not going to lie. It's one of the best Chipotle sauces I've had. Yeah ever like i've had chipotle sauce in in in, you know countless restaurants yeah but for some reason ours hits different yeah it's so good and it goes with everything you know i i bring a little bottle home (laughs) i put it on everything at home (laughs) i've Uh, done the same i've done the same we'll bring a little little bottle of chipotle sauce Uh, my wife when she makes something just throw a little drizzle on whatever it is honestly the only chipotle sauce i could think of that's better is your wife's mom's chipotle sauce that she makes Uh, mama marinez yeah (laughs) we're trying to bottle that up as we speak Uh, we'll keep you guys posted (laughs) mother-in-law makes some of the best chipotle sauce out there so Um, never know maybe we get it on the menu and substitute hers in there the spicy though (laughs) but no lie that 43 uh once i had it because the first year which was probably around 2008 ish or 2009 ish when i was tried jersey mics for the first time and i had the chipotle cheesesteak yeah and i worked next to a jersey mics yeah i had it every day for a year straight five days a week i'm not kidding i was i was obsessed with that thing yeah i mean you I gained weight. Yeah. <laughs> that was the period of my life where I was like <laughs> 20 chunky, pounds yeah. overweight. I was like, how did this happen to me? <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Uh, first two weeks. Cause when I started working at Jersey Mike's with you, the f- only thing and the very first thing I got trained on was the grill. So during grand opening, they're like, all right, he knows it now. Just keep putting him on the grill. So I kind of like, at least got lucky enough where I got skillful early. So I tried Chipotle cheesesteak, f- I think it was the first night that we had our grand opening. And I was like, oh my God, yeah. this is so amazing. And it's you want to so hear good. the sad part is all I got was meat, cheese, Chipotle when I started. <laughs> so over my time, I've added the rest of the ingredients in there. But the first two weeks, all I had was a Chipotle cheesesteak. I gained 10 pounds the first two weeks. Now, ever since then, I made a vow to myself and my wife knows it too. It's like... I'll eat like a cheesesteak maybe once every month, maybe once every three weeks. I can't do it every day anymore, man. Yeah, no, we're old, heavy. man. Yeah. I can't even digest all that meat all the time. It's crazy. Yeah. Like, I get a stomach ache sometimes. I'm like, dude, you're eating too much meat. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's a heavy one. But it's, I don't know. I think it's just age. So if you're young, go. Yeah. I mean, have eat one every day. You're not no going to feel it. Have two. <laughs> yeah. um, all right. And we're safe to say we got the same number one right probably yeah yeah not on the menu we consider it kind of our secret one of our secret subs it's the number 99 Mm. big kahuna cheesesteak just the way it comes and all we do is add our chipotle sauce and sorry i always forget to tell people why it's the number 99 Uh. the big kahuna is the number 56 and the chipotle cheesesteaks are 43 so when you put those together you get yourself the 99 and I think we should trademark this, man. But it's the ultimate cheesesteak, oh, baby. Yeah. <laughs> no, at Jersey Mike's, for sure. If you want the best cheesesteak yeah. at Jersey Mike's, go in and ask for the 99. 99% of employees should know exactly what yeah. it is, even though it's not on the menu. The only people who don't are the people on their first day. Yeah, probably, <laughs> yeah. People on their first day might not know what it is. 
on the set, I, I actually like the chicken version too. Yeah. Uh, basically, I guess you could call it the 97, right? Mm -hmm. If you add those mm -hmm. two numbers up, but the chicken version is just as good. Uh, steak, a little better, mm -hmm. but, you know, honorable mention to the chicken version of that. Yeah. If I'm having a cheesesteak, it's going to be that. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. If I were to die tomorrow and I have to have a hot sub, then it would be the 99. <laughs> <laughs> but definitely, it's. It's our ultimate cheesesteak. You can't go wrong. Even if you're the kind of person that doesn't like a lot of things in, in the sandwich, trust me, when it's chopped up, it, it, it goes really, really well together. Um, and the best feeling is, is when you get a customer in front of you who's like, I'll take a 99. And you look at the customer behind them like, looking at that menu. Yeah, like, what's this guy ordering? <laughs> yeah, it, it feels good. You feel like a VIP pro when you come in and order that sub. Yeah, and personally, I love to add lettuce and tomato to it. Nah, no, no, no. I no, love no, it. No, I no, love the no. tomatoes. Don't great. do it, Ed. Don't do it. The lettuce gives it a crisp. Uh, oh, man, it's so good. Uh, I love lettuce and tomato on my cheese. I'll never steaks. understand the people who do that, man. Why do you got to do that? It's so <laughs> good by itself. Oh, it gets even better. Uh, That's why. I don't know why, man. The lettuce crisp <laughs> and the tomato flavor and, and all of that, it just makes sense to me. I've always had cheesesteaks with lettuce and tomato. Ah. Uh, so. The, yeah. that's what i I'll do ask you something another time <laughs> but uh yeah that's our top five guys as you guys can see we got a lot in common with that one so uh, you guys can definitely take our word for it go go in there try any one of them but uh, if you if you're to die tomorrow try the 99 yeah for <laughs> sure do we have any extras like any do you have any honorable mentions yeah like stuff yeah, that actually. hot subs you made that you know it's not on the menu but it's good i'm glad you actually mentioned that this is probably by far the most simplest hot sub that is on our featured sub menu, but it's the barbecue beef. Mm. And it's our roast beef. We throw it on the grill, marinate that thing with a ton of barbecue sauce, and that's it. That, you mess around, get lettuce, tomatoes, anything you want, but the smell of that sandwich when someone's cooking it on the grill goes across the store and you're like oh my god what's going on in here what is that i want that but it's the number 19 the barbecue beef rarely is it ordered but it, it it's an, good enough to be on the honorable mention list but good enough to at least go in there and try as well Dude, we don't even carry barbecue sauce no anymore. you yeah, guys don't, come, don't come to my store and ask oh, for that man. you can't get that <laughs> yeah. yeah you would order barbecue and it goes on that one sandwich yeah, and no. since it's not even on the menu no one ever orders yeah, it, it used to be on the menu people would order more but i, I can't i don't know i didn't ever even liked it you never liked that? I never liked that. For me, well, I'm, I don't like barbecue sauce. Oh, I don't hate it, shame. but I, it's not my go-to. Just try you know? Mama Marina's barbecue sauce. Oh, then. yeah. This <laughs> <a> good one. <laughs> Should probably make some deck of that, too. Uh, let's see. Uh, for me, uh, I got to mention the chicka filla no. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even fair to mention, man. But, yeah, I guess you could still be making that sandwich. No problem. There's very yeah. few people that asked for it. This was, like, a limited time thing. Jersey Mike's did. They brought it for, I don't know how long. Was it, like, a month very or two? Very limited. Very limited. It just yeah. didn't work out. The name was weird. <laughs> <laughs> they had a they picture had a, of a rooster yeah, on the poster. Yeah, I don't know. But it was basically onions, uh, the chicken, and then pepperoni. Yeah. And the American cheese. And that's yeah. it. So, I mean, it's good. Yeah. Those, those things combined together, great sub. Once again, I like to add the lettuce, tomato, and put some chipotle on there. Yeah. Gets even better, man. Yeah. Um, Just definitely uh, had a funky name to it. It's fun saying it, though. Yeah. Chicka filaroni. Yeah. <laughs> um, Aside from that, you know, I, any cold sub on the menu you can get it grilled that i mean there should be no complications with that sadly oh, there, there is some, huh? some some people don't grill, they're not allowed to grill their subs I, it's okay to grill your subs <laughs> it's, there's nothing wrong with yeah, it it's yeah. fine just clean your grill yeah, it'll just, be okay yeah you're not gonna cross contaminate anything if you 350 just degrees ain't nothing gonna get cross contaminated as long as they're not raw but i mean um we talked about it another on another session but that number 13 grilled i guess you can consider it almost like a hot sub mm -hmm. too but man that's it's probably the best one to try uh as a cold sub to get grilled you know what i started doing recently that's pretty interesting because mm. a couple of people in the comments mentioned it mm -hmm. um i started mixing the cheese in oh the, while it's on the grill like Chopping it's it not, up. yeah so i don't know just uh, the, whole, the entire texture of the sandwich changes mm -hmm. it tastes the same i guess but the texture changes a little bit when you start i mixing could see the that cheese in there and it's pretty good 
Yeah. Um, you guys could try that out. If you want to give it a shot, if you want to change up your Philly and the texture of it, like I said, taste wise, it's going to be very similar, but you know, texture wise, it's a little different. Yeah. No, that could be good though. I just, if everyone at Jersey Mike's can do exactly what my boss told me is anything a customer wants, we can make it. Just make it for them. Seriously. If you could yeah. do it, do it. <laughs> right, exactly. But uh, guys, hope you enjoyed our top five. Again, you can get any one of them that we listed out and I'm sure you're going to fall in love with it. Um, but uh, thank you for watching the video. Give us a like, subscribe. We'll definitely have a lot more coming your way. Yeah, and I'm curious if you guys have any hot sub creations you've done at Jersey Mike's that we did not mention. Let us know. Yeah. All right. Later, guys.